Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me this morning and for showing up to your practice. It's been all this rain and cold weather and mask wearing. Starting to bring us down a little bit here. Let's start by just coming to a nice seated posture on a folded blanket. And just start to lift up through the crown of your head and ground down through your sits bones. And let's take a few cleansing breaths here. So just inhale through your nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Starting to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Settling in, nice long spine. Beginning to breathe in and out through the nose. Just starting to notice the quality of your breath. And you can close your eyes or just give a nice soft gaze towards the floor, whatever feels good to you. And here, just beginning to notice whether the breath gets stuck at the top of your inhale or at the bottom of your exhale. And not trying to change the breath here, just noticing. Moving into three part breath, let's bring one hand to heart center and the other to low belly. And on your next inhale, begin to fill your belly. Allow your rib cage to expand and notice your chest rise. Exhaling, chest will lower, ribs hug, and gently drawing your navel toward your spine. Keep going here, inhaling, filling the lungs, lower lobes all the way up to the top lobes of the lungs. Exhaling, emptying the lungs upper to the lower lobes of the lungs. Really just emptying out any stale air. And you don't want to force here, but just a nice natural rhythm, filling and emptying.
And just allowing the mind to be free of thought. Anytime a thought comes into your head, just allow it to come and go. Releasing hands back down into your lap. Keep your eyes closed for a few more breaths. On your next exhale, go ahead and drop your chin to chest. And you can blink your eyes open here if you'd like. Just allow your head to be heavy here for a moment. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. And then we'll start to work this curvature in the neck here. So inhaling ear to shoulder. Exhaling to center, inhaling toward the other side, and just keep going nice and slow, beginning to notice where you might be feeling any tightness in the neck. And then maybe hang out on one side for a moment. So ear over the shoulder and then give a few shoulder rolls to the opposite shoulder. Just sort of opening up and then breathing into those tight areas. And then maybe turn the gaze towards your mat or towards the floor, breathing. Inhale as you lift the gaze and turn back towards center. Exhale, drop your chin to chest. We'll do a few more neck rolls here. And then hanging out on the opposite side, ear over shoulder, giving a few shoulder rolls to the opposite shoulder, opening up any tight areas in the neck. Hang out here for a moment, take a breath or two. Turn your gaze towards your mat, breathing. Inhale as you lift the gaze, make your way back to center. Give a few shoulder rolls and let's switch feet. Since we're gonna be sitting here for just a few more rounds of breath, switch the foot that's in front, come back into your comfortable seat, and let's bring the hands together, interlace your fingers, 
Bring your forearms together, lift your elbows, and let's just start to make some circles with the wrists here. So full circles all the way around. If your forearms don't come completely together, that's okay. Might start to feel a nice stretch behind the shoulder blade as you lift the elbows. Keep breathing. And switch directions. Just working through any of that popping, cracking, crunching that you might be hearing. And then inhale, start to press through your palms, round your shoulders. Go ahead and drop your chin to chest. Exhale, release. Reinterlace the fingers behind you and start to press down through the tops of the hands. Lift the heart as you inhale, maybe lift the gaze or just keep the gaze forward. So whatever feels good. Exhale, release. A few more shoulder rolls back and forward. From here, let's go ahead and bring the hands together. We're gonna just sort of clasp fingers together. We're gonna lift the elbows to shoulder height. And I just want you to start to rock the elbows up and down. Keep breathing. So we're just creating a little space in between the joints. Shake out the hands. Once more, bringing fingers together, interlacing the fingers, elbows to shoulder height, relax your shoulders away from your ears and just gently start to pull the fingers apart. Shake out the hands. Let's give just a little massage to the palm. So just bringing your thumb to the middle of your palm and just starting to make some circles here. And maybe some circular motions around the wrist joint. And then the other side, circular motions in the palm of the hand, right in the center of the palm. And then some circular motions around the wrist joint. Shake out the hands once more. All right, so from here, let's move into eagle arms. If you want to go ahead and switch your feet once more, you can. If you're comfortable, just stay here. We're going to lift right arm just overhead, and we're just going to bring left arm under the right. And then let's see if you can bring your hands together. If your hands don't touch, that's okay. Just come to wherever is most comfortable to you. You shouldn't feel any pain in the shoulders or any pain at all. So tension and compression is okay, but you shouldn't feel any pain. And then on your next inhale, start to lift your elbows. So you should feel a nice stretch behind the shoulder blade here. Let's take a breath or two here. Nice long exhales. On your next inhale, lift the elbows a little more than shoulder height if you can, or just a little more, that's fine. And then maybe lift your gaze. Exhale, 
Exhale, bring the elbows back to shoulder height. Take a deep breath. Exhale, maybe just fold forward slightly, just a little bit here. Inhale back to center. And then exhale, release. Shake out the hands, a few shoulder rolls, back and forward. And let's do the other side. So inhaling as you lift your left arm this time, we're gonna swing right arm under the left and then just see if we can bring the hands together. One side may feel different from the other. One side may be a little easier than the other. So we'll start here and just take a breath or two. Notice where you're at. Notice how you're feeling. Make sure you're not feeling any pain here. Inhale, start to lift the elbows. Breathe. And then on your next inhale, lift the elbows a little more, maybe lift the gaze. Breathe. On your next exhale, we're just going to start to fold forward just a little here. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release. Shake out the hands. And just a few shoulder rolls back and forward. All right, so let's go ahead and come off of the blanket. And you can extend your legs out in front of you for just a moment. And let's shake out the leg bone from the hip socket. So we're just gonna lean back into the hands, lift the heart, maybe lift the gaze, maybe just keep the gaze forward and just start to shake out the leg bone from the hip socket, shake it out. Keep breathing. And then point and flex the feet a few times. Come on back into seated. We're gonna slide the leg bone back into the hip socket. Now, if you find yourself sort of grounding in your middle thoracic spine, you can bring your blanket back under your seat just to lift your hips and put your spine in more of a neutral alignment. And go ahead and bring your hands next to your hips and we're just gonna do some circles with the ankles. So first spread your toes nice and wide. And lift up through your crown, keep your gaze forward best you can. And then we're just going to start to move in one direction. And you can go as slowly or as quickly as you like. I like to move slowly. I like to notice where my tightness is. Sometimes I'll hang out there for a moment. And just continue to breathe here, that three-part breath. Nice, long exhales. Keep moving in this direction. And then switch directions. Move through that cracking, popping and crunching. And then once more, just shake it out a little. Point and flex the feet. 
From here, we're gonna just bend the knees. We're going to lean back into the hands. We're gonna cross right leg over left. And we're gonna start here. We're gonna make our way into eagle legs at some point, but for right now, just cross your right leg over the left, lift the heart, maybe lift the gaze or just keep the gaze forward. And we're just gonna rock the knees a little side to side. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and allow your knees to drop over to the left. Lift the heart, try not to sink down into the shoulders, but lift up. Shake out the hands. And we'll do the other side. So just leaning back into the hands, we're gonna cross left leg over right this time. Little rock side to side. Inhale, lift the heart. Keep the gaze forward or lift the gaze if it feels good. On your next exhale, allow the knees to drop over to the right. And then just take two or three breaths here. Inhale, bring knees back to center, uncross your legs, come back up to seated. We're going to shake out the hands again. Maybe give a little massage to the wrists. And this time we're going to move into eagle legs. If it's available to you, if not, you can just continue to cross the legs and that's okay. So leaning back into the hands, we're gonna cross right leg over left, and then just see if you can bring your foot behind your ankle. All right, so we're just gonna rock a few times side to side. Keep breathing, that nice three-part breath. And then on your next exhale, allow the knees to drop over to the left. As long as it feels good to you, no pain, continue to breathe. One more breath. And then inhale back to center. Uncross your legs. Come on back up to seated for a moment just to shake out the hands and maybe give a, a little massage to the wrists, whatever feels good. Maybe some circular motions around the knee joint here and feel good. All right, when you're ready, Leaning back into the hands once more, lift the heart. We're gonna cross left leg over right this time. See if you can bring your foot behind your ankle. If not, that's okay. We're gonna just rock back and forth a little here. Keep the heart lifted. Continue to breathe. Take your time. On your next exhale, allow knees to drop over to the right. Keep the heart lifted, keep breathing. One more breath. If 
Inhale back to center, uncross your legs. This time, let's bring the feet out to either edge of the mat, and we're just going to windshield wipe the knees back and forth. So moving with your breath, you're going to inhale here at center, exhale, allow the knees to drop to one side or the other. Inhaling back to center, exhaling toward the other side. Keep moving. Inhale back to center. Come on back up to seated. Shake out the hands once more. Give a little love to the wrists. And let's come on into our tabletop position. So make your way into tabletop. If you need your blanket under your knees, go ahead and put that down for a little extra cushion. Make your way into your tabletop position. Knees under hips, wrists directly under the shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Look towards the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, draw the navel toward the spine. And we're just going to start to make some circles here. So we're going to inhale, move towards the top of the mat. Exhale, back. And then just keep moving in one direction here, circling around. Try not to let the belly hang here. Keep the belly engaged. You can even hang out maybe on one side or the other and just sort of give a little stretch to the hip. Keep moving, keep breathing. We'll make a few more circles in this direction. And then right back into our tabletop position. From here, a few cat cow. So making your way back in your tabletop, look towards the top of your mat, inhale. Exhale, draw your navel toward your spine. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round your spine as you drop your chin to chest, drop your tailbone. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, draw the navel toward the spine. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, press down through the palms and the fingertips, chin to chest, drop your tailbone. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, draw the navel toward the spine. And we'll go for one more round. So inhale, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, round the spine, drop the tailbone, chin to chest. Inhale, back to center. Three rounds here of table to child. So nice long, sorry, nice active arms here. So we're going to inhale here at center. 
Exhale, press the hips back. Ears in line with the arms. Inhale to center. Exhale, press back. Inhale, tabletop. Let's go for one more. Exhale, press the hips back. Inhale, back into your tabletop position. And this time, we're going to start to press down into the right palm. And then I want you to lift your left arm, fingertips towards the ceiling. And then exhale, slide that arm through. Nice gentle twist here, landing on gently on the head and shoulder. If it feels that you may be reaching right fingertips towards the top of your mat, and just take maybe two or three breaths here. On your next exhale, slide that right hand back under the shoulder. On your next inhale, gently press into that right hand, slide the left arm back through, reach fingertips towards the ceiling, exhale, hand comes back down to the mat, making your way back into your tabletop position. Three rounds of table to child. Inhale, look towards the top of your mat. Exhale, press the hips back, ears in line with the arms. Inhale to table. Exhale, child. Inhale to table. Exhale once more into child's pose. Inhale back into tabletop and we'll do the other side. So when you're ready, we're gonna lift the right arm, fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale, slide this right arm through, making your way onto shoulder and head. Try not to lift your gaze here, look towards the top of your mat, but maybe start to look towards the front edge of your mat. And then reaching the left fingertips towards the top of your mat if it feels good to you a little deeper into the stretch. Breathe. On your next exhale, sliding that left hand back under the left shoulder. On your next inhale, gently pressing into that hand, sliding right arm back through, fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale, hand comes back down to the mat. And go ahead and sit back on your heels for a moment. And from here, we're just gonna shake out the hands just a little. And Little massage to the wrist. Tops of the feet are relaxed on your mat. Bring your hands just behind the shoulders here. So fingertips are in line with the um, tips of the shoulders here. Draw the shoulders back and down and keep your elbows nice and tight, close to the body. Forehead is relaxed on your mat. And just take a breath or two here for a moment. I want you to take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, start to draw your navel toward your spine. On your next inhale, gently press into your hands, lift your head, 
Lift your heart, keep your gaze towards your mat, and let's take three breaths. And then exhale, make your way back down onto your mat. Shake out the hips a little. I just want you to notice, um, we're going to do that once more, and I want you to notice how the diaphragm is helping you, you can notice how the diaphragm is actually moving the body up and down as you breathe. So come on back to center after shaking out for a moment. Your forehead is relaxed on your mat. Top of the feet are relaxed on the mat. We're pressing down into the mat. Hands are under the shoulders or just behind the shoulders with the fingertips at the tips of the shoulders. Relax the shoulders away from the ears as you draw the elbows towards the body. Inhale. Exhale, draw your navel towards your spine. On your next inhale, gently pressing into the hands, lift the head, lift the heart. Keep your gaze towards your mat and breathe. Three breaths. Exhale, release your forehead back down to the mat. Shake out the hips. All right, so from here, we're gonna bring the arms out to a T in line with the shoulders. Palms are down. So I just want you to take a look over your right shoulder and make sure that the right arm is in line with the right shoulder. And then turn your gaze back over the left shoulder and draw your left hand just under your left shoulder. Keep that right arm extended. And on your next inhale, I just want you to press into that left hand. Keep your head on your mat and just sort of quarter turn your body. So your right arm is still extended. And then banana shape your feet so that they're right at the front corner of your mat. And just take a breath or two here. And then if it's available to you, maybe bring your knees to the front edge of your mat. Take one more breath. We're going to slowly start to re-extend the legs. And then on your next exhale, slowly make your way back over onto your belly. And then with that right arm still extended, just turn your gaze towards your, over your right shoulder. Take a breath. Bring your forehead back to your mat. We're gonna re-extend the left arm so that the left arm is in line with the left shoulder. And just take a look over your arm, over your shoulder to make sure that the arm is in line with your shoulder. And then turn your gaze towards the right. Keep your head relaxed on your mat as you draw that right hand under the right shoulder. On your next inhale, I want you to gently press into your hand with your head relaxed on your mat. Gently press into your hand and quarter turn your body. If you can't make your way all the way over onto your side body, that's okay. Just come to wherever is comfortable. And then bring your feet to the front corner of your mat. Take a breath.
And then inhale, knees up to front edge of your mat. Take a breath here. On your next inhale, go ahead and re-extend your leg. Exhale as you slowly make your way back over onto your belly. Bring your forehead, I'm sorry, bring your gaze over the left shoulder. And just take a look over the left arm for just a minute. Go ahead and bring your forehead back to your mat, both hands under the shoulders here. We're gonna shake out the hips for just a moment. Inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, gently press into your hands, lift your hips, press your hips back into your child's pose. Send the child's pose here. Pressing the hips back towards the heels. Tip of your forehead resting on your mat. Forearms are relaxed. Take three breaths here. Slide the hands back beside the knees. On your next inhale, start to roll yourself back up to seated as you gently press into your hands. A few shoulder rolls here. We'll make our way back to the center of the mat into seated with legs crossed. Again, thank you all so much for showing up to practice today. It can be hard sometimes when the weather is not cooperative and it's gloomy outside, can bring some gloom to our emotions as well. Bringing hands to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Namaste.